Hey tennis friends, I'm here at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden in Indian Wells, California for my coverage of the 2014 ASICS Easter Bowl. I'm here just outside the West Gate and during the BNP Paribas Open, this is the VIP and players entrance so it's rarely seen to the general public. But during the rest of the year, whenever there's a tennis event happening here, this is the main entrance. Now today is semi-final day, I have my ASICS gear on, I'm all ready to go, so let's get right to the center court and check out the action. This event is the United States National Junior Spring Hardcourt Tournament. On court right now is a girls 18 semifinal. Receiving in the near court is Cece Bellis, a Northern California native who just won the girls 18's International Spring Championships last week. Serving from the far court is Sophia Kennan of Florida, who is the number one seed and whose last three rounds have gone three sets. <laughs> Now CC Bellis to serve from the near court. After a changeover, CC Bellis to serve from the far court. Now Sophia Kennan to serve from the near court. After another changeover, CC Bellis to serve. Sophia Kennan serving. After another changeover, once again, CC Bellis serving. I'm here right now with the winner of that match, CC Bellis. CC, that was a tough three setter out there today. <laughs> yeah, she's you know such a fighter, and you have to. She doesn't stop trying until you know literally when the match is over. So. You have to, oh, you know, always, you know, that she's going to play well, and you have to play well to be there. Well, let's talk about the first set. You know, the first set, uh, you took care of business 6-4, but then she came six, back. 6-3. Six, then, six, three. then yeah. she came back and won the second set. Mm -hmm. What changed between the first and second sets? I think um, I lost my focus a little bit, and I think if I uh, kind of stuck to my game plan a little bit better, she, I mean, obviously she started playing better, too, so I think it was mainly that, and if I focused, I think I should have focused a little bit more, too. Well, let's talk about the conditions out there a little bit. You know, it's... Uh, very warm here in Southern California. There's a little bit of a breeze. Probably the breeze doesn't affect you out there, but no, how's the heat out there for you? Um, today was a little bit cooler than yesterday, so I think that that helped a lot for sure in the third set, because I think uh, if it had been hotter, it would have been you know harder, obviously. Well, now the third set came around and it was pretty even. In fact, it got to be 4-4. Four, four. What was the difference that allowed you to pull ahead? I think um, I just kind of stuck to my game plan, like, you know, be aggressive and try to move around and, you know, 
finish the point when I can, and that I think really helped me too. So. Now last year you won the girls' 16s here. Uh, last week, when you were still 14, you won the ISC, mm -hmm. and then you turn 15, you come out here and you make it to the girls' 18s final. You're having a pretty good week. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I I think Easter Bowls, you know, I always do well here. I love this tournament, so I mean, it's a treat to be in the finals here. Up next is a boys' 18 semifinal. Receiving in the near court is Francis Tiafo from Maryland, who is the number one seed and was a boys' 18's international spring championship finalist last week. Serving from the far court is Robert Levine from New York, the number 13 seed who took out the number four seed in the round of 16. After a changeover, Robert Levine to serve from the near court. What? Right here. After another changeover, Robert Levine serves from the far court. Robert Levine serving. After a changeover, Francis Tiafo serving from the near court. Now Francis Tiafo serving from the far court. Robert Levine serving. Francis Tiafo serving. After a changeover, once again, Robert Levine serving. I'm here right now with the winner of that match, Francis Tiafo. Is that how it's pronounced, yeah, yeah, Tiafo? Yeah. You know, that was a tough match out there today in these conditions. Yeah, it was. You know, I mean, I thought I played a pretty good match today. I thought it was kind of pretty one-sided. Um, I played to my game plan really well, attacking a lot with the forehand, and he didn't really have any answers for me today. Well, the first set was 6-2. In the second set, you kind of didn't come out as strong. What happened in that second set? Yeah, I thought I thought, him, I thought the match was pretty much mine. Uh, he started playing really well, and I wasn't really there with the feet. And then, you know, I got a lucky break back at 2-1, and then after that, I was pretty pretty one-sided again. Well, last week you made it to the final of the ISC. This week you've made it to another final, and uh, you're also the number one seed. Do you feel like you have a target on your back, and how do you feel about the pressure? Um, yeah, I definitely have a target on my back, but I, f I feel no pressure playing. I mean, you know, every every match is just another match. You know, I don't put any pressure on myself. I just play and uh, hope to win. <laughs> As usual, there was a lot more matches that I wasn't able to cover at this National Spring Hardcore event. If you'd like to be notified when my next report is, be sure to subscribe at groundspass.net or friend me at Facebook or follow me at Twitter. All the information is right there below, and I'll be back with my next report, which will feature the finals from the 2014 ASICS Easter Bowl. I'll see you next time with more tennis outside the lines. <laughs>